Hey everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Today we're going to use Boris Effects Optics to add a lightning bolt to an image. So we're going to start out with an image that looks like this, use Boris Effects Optics, and when we come back into Lightroom, we'll end up with an image that looks like this. Today we're going to use Boris FX Optics as a plugin in Lightroom. You may know that I previously used it as a plugin in Photoshop. It of course works as a standalone application as well. In the description below this video I'll have a link to a playlist. In that playlist will be all the videos I do on Boris FX Optics so that you could watch them at your convenience. Now, I mentioned on this image we're going to be adding a lightning bolt to it, so I'm ready to send it to Boris FX optics. To do that, we're just going to right click right on the image. We're going to go down to edit in and then over to Boris FX optics. I want to edit a copy with Lightroom adjustments with these parameters and we'll click edit. Now Lightroom will create that TIFF file with those parameters and open it up into Boris FX optics. Now by default, it will open up into the category that you previously used. So I'm in the film lab category. The lightning is under the render category. So we'll click on render and specifically the lightning we're going to use is called S underscore zap. So we'll click on that and you could see we just have this lightning bolt applied to the image. Now you'll notice that there's these points here. These allow you to kind of shape and move the lightning bolt around where you need it. And I'm just going to immediately start moving this lightning bolt so that it is more in line with what I have in mind. Let's move the start of this maybe over in here. So something like that to start out with. Now there's a lot of different parameters we could adjust. To get to those, we click on the parameters tab over here on the right and you can see all these different parameters. And I won't go through each of these individually. They're pretty self-explanatory. You of course could always just come in and move them. You could see we could add more lightning bolts. Uh, these points, uh, you could enable more points so then it will kind of allow you to move it in more elaborate uh, ways. I think the way it is right now is fine. Vary the endpoint, just kind of moves where it ends. We already dragged it uh, roughly where we want it, so that's fine. The bolt width is definitely something I need to adjust. It's definitely way too thick. Uh, so I want to bring it down. So I'll bring down that bolt width. Uh, the end pointedness, this is kind of just how defined it is at the end. And I think pretty de well defined is the way I want it. So I want it like that. Wiggle start. So again, you could just move these. You can see how it kind of just changes the shape a little bit. All these uh, do pretty much similar things right here. The curve amp, stuff like that. Branchiness, um, it just kind of looks boring, doesn't it? Kind of a single lightning bolt. Well, I could add some branches off it like that. I think that looks a little more interesting, something like that. And we could do uh, affect the angles of those branches, have them come out more or stay down lower more. Something like that I think is kind of cool. Uh, branch length, the length of those branches, I think something like that maybe. Uh, the glow brightness, typically if you photograph lightning uh, with a camera, it will have a glow around it. So I want to add uh, some glow like that. You can see just a little though. I don't want it to overwhelm the image. Just a little. Uh, glow color. I think blue is good. Zap brightness. This is the actual br brightness of the lightning bolt itself. And you can see that's kind of adding a glow as well. Again, I don't want to get too carried away with the glow. I also could come back in and change the bolt width slightly. I think that glow is making it look a little too thin. All right, that looks all right. Um, and so on, we got start offset length. Again, you could just come in and move these. Now, if you want to get rid of this kind of overlay, they call that the spline. Just click on this and you could get a better idea of what your lightning bolt looks like. Now, it's not going directly to the lightning arrestor of the, um, of the lighthouse. You can see it's, it's just off maybe a little bit. 
So what I want to do is I want to turn that spline back on and I want to just kind of tweak it down and over. Look at it again. And that looks a little better. Like that. Now the start point. Um, I kind of don't like how it's starting. The actual clouds don't have a really perfect spot. Maybe right there. Yeah, let's try that. I think that's all right. And I overall, I think it looks, you know, pretty good right here. I could, of course, there's so many different parameters. I could keep experimenting. I could add a second one, another layer, add another one, you know, whatever to make it look, you know, the way I want it to look. But I think for this video, you get an idea of how to add a lightning bolt to an image. So when you're done, click this little X over here and it's prompting you to save the image before quitting. You're going to say yes. And then it will save it back into Lightroom. And because we created a, another image, we didn't affect the original image. So let me open up the film strip. And you can see here's the original image. So that's basically the before. And there's the after. Before, after. So you can see it is very easy to add a lightning bolt to an image using Boris FX optics. To render that in Photoshop is very difficult and you have a lot less control over how to create and make that lightning bolt work when using Photoshop. So this is really something that is very useful if lightning bolts are things you want to add to an image. Now in future videos, I'll go into some more of the effects. There's just so many effects in Boris FX Optics. I could do a video every day for a year and cover them all, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I think I'll do a video once every couple weeks and I'll um, cover some of the more popular effects that are in Boris FX Optics. If there's anything specific you want me to demo from Boris FX Optics, let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I could do it. Um, also in the description below this video, I'll have links to their website. I have a discount code you could use if you decide to purchase it as well. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.